okay guys welcome back to the second video on Django tutorial series on my channel in this video we're going to be learning about URL mapping in Django now basically what URL mapping means is linking URLs now for me to explain this better let's run our project let's open a new terminal and let's say Python 3 manage the py run server Now we have our project running on our local host. Now let's go back and press this. Now when we open our local host, we see this Django page, default page, but we don't want this. So we're going to use URL mappings to change what we see here, first of all. But URL mappings basically means setting URLs. When, like, when someone go to our page, our website, and press slash profile, where do we want where do we want them to go? That's what they call URL mappings. Or when someone just comes to our page directly, what do we want them to see? Where do we want them to go? So URL defines different links in our websites and then specifies them to where they are supposed to be, basically. So for us to map URLs, what we need to do is to open our app. So we're going to open our app and then we're going to create a file called urls.py urls.py now we need to import something but before we import that let's head over to our urls.py file in our project called my site so what we need to import is path basically this is how a url.py file look like in django we are going to import path and then we are going to specify the urls so for us to do this we say from django dot urls import path now we have path imported this path is going to allow us to specify different urls in our website now we're going to define a url pattern let's see url pattern url patterns we're going to open something like this this is how a url pattern look like so what we're going to do now, we're going to say path, we're going to open a bracket, and then we're going to put a column, two columns, and then what this basically does is that once a user goes to our website, we want it to show the views.om, let's say the views.index, and then let's give it a name equals index. Now basically what this line of code does is that, this path specifies a URL, and what URL is that? Our website. That's the home directory. When I leave something blank like this, it means it's going to the home directory. So when a user goes to the home directory, we want it to go to the views.index and then get the whatever is in that function and then serve it. So let's talk about the views. For us to do this, we need to open the views.py file here. This is where you create functions to specify your URLs. Basically what this is going to do is that it's going to, let's say, pass some text or pass some templates, which is going to allow you to render that template, that HTML template to the specified URLs. For example, when a user goes to this empty directory, that means the home directory, it's going to go to views.index. In here, we're going to create a function called index. It's going to take a request. This how to create a function. And then it's going to look for whatever we're doing in here. And then that's what it's going to render to the user out here. But as for the, as a default, Django renders this page. But we want to change this and render our own page. Now for us to do this, we have to head over back to our code. And in our code, we're going to import something called HTTP response. This allows us to just basically type in some text and then render it as an HTML text. For us to do this, we are going to go up to this, to the, on our code, and we are going to type from django.http, django.http, import, what we are going to import is HTTP response, HTTP response, that's it. And now in our function, what we're going to do now, we're going to return 
an HTTP response. And let's say something like, hi guys. Now basically what this does is that once a user goes to this specified URL, it's going to look for the views.index and when it comes to search for the views.index, what it's going to see is an HTTP response. That means once a user goes to this page, it should just write something here like, hi guys. But for us to be able to access this views.index, we need to import views. So we're just going to do from the directory, current directory, import views. As simple as that. But if we come here now and refresh this, it's not going to work. That's because we only specify these URLs for our, pro for our app. We also need to specify it for our project. When we specify it for our project, because our project is the main body of the whole website. So when we specify for our projects, it's automatically going to reflect on the website. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come to my site and go to urls.py. And then in this URL patterns, we're going to create a new path, which is the home directory. And then we don't want to specify it again. We're just going to say it should include the urls.py file in my app. Before I explain that, let's import something called include. Now, what this does is that, let's first close it, include my app.urls. Now, what this is going to do is that when someone goes to the home directory of our site, it's going to include my app.urls. My app is the app we created. Then, in that my app, is going to go to the urls.py file and look for an exact same copy of this home directory. And once it comes here, it's going to see the views.index, then it's going to link again, and then we're going to get an HTTP response. Hopefully, this should work now. Let's test it out. And when we refresh, boom, we see hi, guys. This is basically what URL mapping does. We just link different from the URLs to the views.py file to our main, to our main project URLs. And we can also come into this place, into the URLs.py, of my app, sorry, the views of people of my app, and we can write something that HTT in, in an HTML format. Let's say H1, let's close it. H1. Now, instead of this text to just be little here, it's gonna be an H1 tag. Now, when we refresh this, you see it's big. You can also write a lot of code here, but obviously, this won't make sense if you're writing all your HTML code in just a bracket it will make it it's supposed to have its own page for the HTML code now that's when Django template comes in but that's not what we're going to do in this video basically in this video I just wanted to show you guys URL mapping in Django so in the next video we're going to continue on the series I hope you understood what I taught in this video if you did please don't forget to smash the like button and please subscribe and press the bell notification so you get notified when I release new videos Having that said, if you have any question, please drop it down in the comments. I read all comments. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.